Brother uh, Horace Teller, welcome to the show. You see, we've got Achilles over there. <laughs> we've got Talu El Amin to my right. A sound political analyst and strategist. And he's going to have some questions for you as well and offer his analysis. Hey, look, we've got Omar Baruti here. So you're facing four men with some hella questions. Go right ahead, sir. Break it down for us. All right. First, first thank Let's you so much. Show. Thank you first so much for allowing me to be a guest here on the Love Power Show. Um, I'm deeply honored, and I want to say thank you again to the, to the listening audience. In since we're in the middle of the 20th, 2020 uh, presidential race, and as you know, that's heating up. Now. So let me get right into the meat of my three words, actually four word mm -hmm. platform, which is restoration, security, and forward progress. I'll start first by saying both our local and national level politics have gone to crap. I can think of no better way to frame it. Remember that infamous escalator ride down as the president made his announcement that he would enter into the 2016 presidential race. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's a quick, concise look at what has happened since. With practically everything that has been going on and that continues to be done, I'm talking about the political discourse and governing in our nation, mm -hmm. which has followed suit. That is, it has gone down too. So to get our nation back to a level of decency and civility, I'm now a candidate for the office of the President of the United States. And why am I entering into a field of already good candidates? Here's why. It's because what I have to offer is an approach that is radically different from the other contenders. And frankly, I plan to fundamentally change the course that America is on. At this point in time, our democracy needs a street fighter with street fighting skills someone who is immune to the vile, toxic attacks that the president revels in, further bringing our country down and dividing us. Should he zing one my way, he should not be surprised when I unleash a barrage back at him. Sometimes, as you know, we have to fight fire with fire. Okay, let's stop right there. You, two things you said, and I want to go to Talu. You said, and I'm, at this point I'm not disagreeing with you, when you say our nation, the other thing is a street fighter as you run for president of the United States in 2020. Talud, how do you size that up? Well, of course, running for president is a tremendous job. I mean, you're covering all states, you know, and, and, and those islands. You'll have to raise a tremendous amount of money. I think I mentioned earlier, uh, a few days ago, that that the election, or the last election that Barack Obama was in, um, the amount of money that was raised to run for office was near a billion dollars. So my, my question would be, how how would you what what, what would you do? I, and I know I've heard you say that. Memphis is the is a fundamental uh, part of the 2020 election, or fundamentally is is an intricate city in in the 2020 election. Explain that to me. Thank you for that question. So, my position is Memphis will matter in the 2020 election, and this is how I plan to go about raising, as you phrased it or framed it, the billion dollars. Mm -hmm. I know Memphis. It's a wealthy town, but Memphis is also a depressed town. So I am seeking, at this point, asking no more than one U.S. dollar. And I mean U.S. dollar. No other. No Russian dollars, no mm -hmm. Arabian money. U.S. dollars mm -hmm. to get our country on the track to restoring that civility, humility, and humanity. That's okay. how I'm initially starting off by coming here to my home ground, hometown, where I truly am grassroots effort to get this message out. Okay. Now, Omar, let us ask Brother Harris, what does he think about the current state of affairs in American politics? 
go ahead and I'd like to hear Omar respond. Go ahead, sir. So here's how I assess the current state of affairs in American politics. The Republicans have lost their mind. Anything and everything goes. What the president says and what the president does seems to get carte blanche support from his quote unquote party. Mm -hmm. Consider the lesson of the Magna Carta. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats can't seem to find their united strength in their collective backbones. Mm -hmm. Again, whatever the president says, whatever the president does, the Democrats act as though they need a revelation from God Almighty before they will do their jobs as elected representatives of the people. Mm -hmm. Now, where does that put me? I'm entering the race and running as a small eye independent, but not just as an independent, but as a radical independent. And by radical, I mean this. I will be calling out the Republicans, Republicans for their nationalist views in support of the president, who is seriously, who seriously needs to be jailed for the unprecedented level of harm and high crimes and misdemeanor that he has inflicted upon our nation through the conduct and policies of his lawless administration. And I will be calling out the timid, acting, revelation-seeking Democrats to do their jobs. Our nation symbol, our national symbol, is the bald eagle. And as you know, no bird flies with only one wing. So essentially, both parties have effectively, systematically, and practically redefined the very name and fabric of our country, the United States of America. You see, a divided U and a divided S does not equal a United States. So with respect to my broad level platform ideals, restoration, security, and forward progress, these goals will be accomplished by restoring civility, humility, humanity, and respect to all peoples through strength and compassion. That sounds like a good speech. Now Omar, he's, he's, he's saying our country, but at the same time, he's calling out Republicans and Democrats as well. What do you say? He's on point. But I do think that they have not lost their mind. They have revealed their mind. You now know who they are. <laughs> they pull the cover off themselves. And again, Donald Trump is a criminal in the highest sense of the word.